We are restarting. This is good. Yeah, just give me a full sentence. Sukuma, sukuma, we. Bageri. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mercy Art. So for this particular video, it's technically just a random vlog uh, revolving around living in Nairobi. So for some of you who know me, some of you who don't know me, will understand that sometimes I just take life as it comes. Well, of late, I've really, really been facing a lot of things, both in terms of my career, in terms of. Um, let me say, I don't want to get personal about it, but then you have to realize that as a human being, you have to kind of just get to a level whereby you need to unwind. And what do I mean by this? Well, every human being in their lifetime always reach a certain level whereby they kind of feel they're having a burnout. So the question is, do you go ahead and allow the burnout to absorb and make you depressed and make you stressed? Or you can choose to revolve around, look at the positive side of it in terms of just looking at what's within you, what's around you, and turn the tables around. So that's actually what's really, really inspiring this video. I'm at a level whereby, let me say I'm on a crossroads. I have to make different decisions concerning different major things in my life. So, But then the question is, I cannot just sit down and uh, allow myself to get depressed over it. So... This is just a sneak peek of how sometimes I just unwind. Sometimes it's usually good to mingle around with friends, and exactly this is what I had to do over this weekend. Hey! Hi! So I met my awesome friend Julian at this place called Chocolate and the beauty about it is that they have the Kenyan made chocolate and to top on that they have the very best Kenyan brand coffee. It was the best idea for a Saturday. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's about Master Art. So today being a Saturday, it was kind of a chill out Saturday. Yeah. So I decided to go for some coffee with my friend. Yeah. And I ordered for some white coffee right here. Mm. It's actually single. Mm. But then the good thing about this place, it's a chocolate bar. Mm. They're giving you a complimentary piece of chocolate mm. when you order something. It's really, really amazing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, exactly. Chocolate bar. Chocolate or chocolate? <laughs> chocolate. Oh, I see it right in the corner up there. Mm. What did you order? Mm, so I ordered for some white coffee. Mm. Single. Mm. Because I was given this amazing, nice piece of chocolate. Oh, how is it? Love that. It is awesome. Yeah. 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 Plus, my friend took some ice coffee. He actually took it in two seconds. Below. Yeah. And basically, my Saturday is kind of chill. Out, so. Super chill. We haven't done anything. We've done nothing. We're oh, done. maybe I can show you the uh, rooftop. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You should do that. Yeah, you want to do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's my coffee check me there, right? Yeah, I got you. Cool. Yeah. Got it. 
So it was such an amazing experience catching up with Julian, his experiences in terms of his first time here, the culture shock, he didn't even know the culture shock. I think he really, really found himself very comfortable, which was very shocking because most tourists, when they come to Kenya, they get so frustrated, they feel like they can't fit in, but with him it's just a different level. So it was such an amazing time and, uh, well, he had two mugs of the iced coffee, I don't know. Oh, why? But anyway, he was sipping each and every mug within two seconds. Coffee so. addicts. Saturday, I must say it was such a chilled out day, no hurry to go anywhere, no meetings, no work, etc. So technically we were taking our time. Anything we find interesting, we stay around and watch. So we went to a Naiva supermarket, I did some shopping, bought a few things here and there. And of course, as usual, I had to do some recording, but uh, trust me. It was not very comfortable to do this. So, and then I came across these bags. I remember there was a time we came in partnership with a lady. We decided to do this uh, random, random, simple designs. And the good thing is they were incorporated on these uh, tote bags. So, trust me, I was so, so proud of myself. Well, that's me on the mirror. So, after this, uh, we're just planning to have an easy afternoon. And then later on, we are planning to meet another friend of ours, Marceline, and then we can have dinner. So, because today is a very special day for Julian, it's his birthday. So, we just have to celebrate that. So, after the shopping, we'll see what to do next. Actually, the simple things in life really make a big difference. Trust me, after that coffee session, the shopping, the moving around, goofing around, looking at those culture pieces, trust me, it was something that I really needed. I kind of felt rejuvenated. Not only that, but then I was feeling as though my heart, my mind, my soul is really, really at peace. We realize that sometimes you only need a few hours, one hour, 30 minutes or so, just to kind of keep yourself back to normal. Let me call it pan a bit into your body. So now, um, for this evening, we were actually planning to have a celebration, as I told you, about uh, Julia's birthday. So we actually really, really didn't have, have a specific plan. But then, actually, he wanted to have some Chinese, so we were supposed to come and meet uh, Marceline. But now the problem is, by the time it was evening, it was very late. It was so late for us to have uh, some of those Chinese restaurants open. So we only had one option, which was harvest. Actually, it was my fault. It was my fault that it was very late for us to have any dinner at any Chinese restaurant. But well, we had harvest, which is uh, located at a village market. And trust me, it was a very good choice. It was my first time there. Harvest. 
with my friends. Hello. Of course. The, the one, one and only, only African, African tigress. Tigress. Yeah. And a very, very special friend right Hi, here. Hi, it's me, Julian. <laughs> so guys, actually it's his birthday, so we're having some dinner here at Harvest. Just looping around. <laughs> Yeah. And how do you find Village Market? It's really nice. This is, it definitely gives me like a upscale shopping experience. I yeah. This is where like the, the bad and bougie shops at. Which side did you like most? Well, I don't think I got to see the full other side, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's like the, it's a new versus older side. But I like this side. It's very upscale. They have like chandeliers in the middle of the mall. And how does it feel like being being your birthday today? <laughs> it feels tiring, guys. I've had two hours of sleep. <laughs> yes, because you're naughty. No I'll not say what you did. Trust me. <laughs> I was up praying to Jesus. <laughs> I was partying all night. I literally got home at nine a.m. for eight hours. Yesterday, yeah. Yesterday was a very jam-packed day. We did a lot. Yeah. But I'm like, <laughs> that was a lot of energy, camera. though. Yeah. yeah. We did a lot yesterday. By the way, I didn't get his view about the Ugali. He did. Hmm? Oh, oh, okay. I'm the one who. How was the test like? The first time you trying out the Kenyan Ugali. How did you find it? Hmm. How did I find it? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> oh, it's good. Yeah. I mean. My favorite part, I haven't had beef in so long. It was really nice to have beef again. I'm not gonna lie, and it was seasoned so well. Yeah. And I feel like with the Bugali texture, it just, both of the textures together, it just melted in my mouth. Yeah. Now, now I have one special question. Any words you remember which you taught you? The Swahili words. Of course, Papa. Ooh. Papa. 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 Para, oh shoot. Para, para Can I shock you? We are Kenyans, but we rarely use that word. Yeah, we just call because it. Because it's my favorite <laughs> word. <laughs> Any uh, other? Oh, I remember. How did we call this, the vegetables? Sukumawiki. <laughs> Sukumawiki. Sukuma, sukuma what about the tomatoes? Nyanya. <laughs> <laughs> Was that your I'm favorite word? Well? Okay. And I remember, but you um, not remember onions. Onions. Whoa! That was so good. Cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So being a Saturday, the place was quite busy, so we were just buying time before the waiter came to take our order. Let me say, we didn't see the time flying, because, well, with good company, you never see that flying. So, well, it was such an interesting time, catching up with my friend. This one cocktail here called It Talks Out Loud. <laughs> it talks out loud. Yeah, it's so bad. That's what I'm saying. And there's Dawn in the tree. Harvest is this song. Can't tie my tie. Okay, that's a good one. Bloody new fire. So this is yours. <laughs> hey, those are so nasty. Uh, Bloody berries. going to lick the whole ring. I'm trying to like be cute and just dip it, but I'm also thirsty. So I want to just go, go, go. <laughs> Oh my goodness, how can I do that? 
Okay, there we go. How wide should I open my mouth? Very. <laughs> no way. Ah. It's really nice and I like the top of the bun. It's so, so soft. Mm -hmm. Very spongy. With some sesame seeds. I think it's a sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. Let's try out the salad. Yeah? Okay. I need to pick a call. I'm only eating salad. How is the food, by the way? The salad is great. The tomatoes, the nyanya. No, that nyanya word is not yours. It's his. Yeah. So it's plain I can't finish. So I'm only having salad. I mean, I'll get very hungry and have the burger later in the night. I'm not very. What hungry. time is that? One a.m. Right, How are your fries, by the way? They're all right. They just called me. I, you know, when I was when I was waiting for her, mm. some friend called me. And they are going out. Mm. Really, you came here? No, not this time. Somewhere. Else. So we are having the food. Oh, today. Today. <laughs> yeah, when I was waiting for her to come and give me, mm. so instead of picking me, she carry it. <laughs> Okay. Hey guys, so we just finished having dinner with a birthday guy here. Happy birthday! The one and only <laughs> Happy birthday. birthday to you. I turned 22 today. Oh, so awesome. I thought you were turning 12. Oh. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> I thought you were turning 15 anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so guys, that was rich. I had fun and um, I hope you had fun too. So, cheers. Bye! Come on. Come on. Come on.